Hi, I'm Zed. And welcome to my artist session right here in GarageBand. I'm a musician, producer, a DJ, artist. I've worked with Ariana Grande, Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, Foxes, Kesha, some of the greatest artists in pop music. In celebration of the 10 year anniversary of my album Clarity, I'm gonna take you inside the making of Clarity and even show you how to create your own personal remix using all the original beats and vocals. So let's start exploring Clarity in GarageBand. I'm going to show it on iPad, but you can of course do it on your iPhone as well. So now you have your hands on Clarity, sounding pretty much like it did when we created it in the studio, but now built here in GarageBand. Here on the left, each row represents an instrument. We have all of Fox's vocals, here along with the drums, synths, and so on. And from left to right, the columns are song sections of Clarity, like the intro, the verses, chorus, and drops. To play a part, just tap the cell to trigger loops, and tap again to stop. As you explore elements of the song, you can use GarageBand's mixer to balance the levels of all parts of the song. Just slide the track headers to the right. So the cool part about this particular element is that the, the melody, the uh, na, 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 is actually our voice. So we recorded ourselves and then we just sampled our voice and sang it in different syllables. And that ended up being the actual sound that we used, basically just our voices with a few effects on it. So initially, this was a male vocal, but the really high note was a little bit too high in the original key. So we started looking for female vocals to be able to hit that really high note. And we stumbled upon Foxes, and she ended up on the song. And then the chanting vocal on the drop of Clarity is actually just myself, a few friends of mine, my photographer at the time, I think Porter Robinson, my buddy who I was working on the song with at the time, uh, and just whoever we could find, and we recorded it like 10 times. Sometimes we were right on. Then we recorded a couple of vocals that are kind of a little bit off just to give it that stadium feel. And we just kept recording over and over and over. And that is now the, the melody on the drop that you hear is just all of us chanting and singing. So now that you understand more about the structure of the song, it's time to create a simple remix. First, we need to add some new loops to the grid. There are thousands of Apple loops in GarageBand. Just tap the Apple loops icon at the top of the screen. From here, you can scroll and just tap any one of them to preview. You can listen to them either on their own or with elements of the song playing, and GarageBand keeps everything in time. Don't forget, when you find a sound you like, tap the heart to favorite it. I've gone ahead and favorited a few I liked, which you can access from here. A good tip is to start a vocal playing like Foxes here in the verse, and then just try it out against different loops. GarageBand keeps everything in key as well, so you will be surprised how many beats you will find that have totally different chords, and you can completely change the vibe of the song. Okay, I like the synth line, and I want to add it to the grid. To add it, simply tap, hold, and drag it into an empty cell. So now I will build up the beat here, and then tap on Fox's vocal again. As you can hear, the possibilities are endless on what direction you can take the song. Just by mixing and matching parts, you're really making some of the same musical decisions as I do as an artist every day. But now I want to capture my performance, and before I do, I want to dial in some effects. And we can do that with remix effects. These are many of the same effects I like to use when I'm performing, and they can really add to the energy of a track. We have filters, gates, repeaters, and many more that you can tweak to your liking. Simply tap and hold and move around on the X, Y to activate and play. You can even activate gyro control so you can move your iPhone or iPad around to adjust the effects. Once you have a few sounds that you like, it's time to record it. So let's try that now. Wow, that sounded great. So as you can see, in just a couple of minutes, we created a fun remix just by adding a few loops. Feel free to experiment and find things that you find cool. 
and don't worry about making a mistake as so often what you think are mistakes can become the most important moment in your music. I hope if this is your first time working with music, understanding just a little bit more about how a song like Clarity came together will inspire you to go even further. There's a whole world of music waiting to be explored, so keep creating.